up buddy nerdigans this is the one and only packer girl 89 and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for jujika no roken in chapter 67 so before i get into this recap and live reaction let me just remind you to hit that like share and subscribe buttons and because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored and i'm just on a non-stop high speed struggle train heading into chaos and oh we have hit panic attack hyper speed levels of struggle up in ya but if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking, feel free to hit up my cash app and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, fam, last week was nuts. It was because Kyo and Aruma made contact. Yes! And it was very interesting because Aruma with the other four he didn't have like ptsd nah he was a he was able to focus on the task at hand and he was able to put like all the trauma aside but with keo though <gasps> no keo he had that ptsd it was triggered instantly and it really shows you how like how much of a next level evil keo is yeah, kitty, you know too, don't you? You're a smart kitty. Anyways, he was so shaken. And it was interesting. You know how it was triggered? It was when Kyo was going to put his hands around Aruma's neck. That's it. He didn't even have his hand around Aruma's neck. He was just like reached out. But anyways... Bro is awake now. Yes. So let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for us this week. And this chapter is titled Big Brother. His brain activity is normal. There's no need to worry about his condition. All we have to do is wait for him to talk. Um, taking him for a walk around the grounds using a wheelchair should be okay. Uh, how is it? It's been four years since you've been outside. The air is nice and cool. Do you want to go see the maple tree? Then let's take a break here. I can't believe he's awake. I just have this sus feeling though. I really do. I said it last week that there's the timing of all this, of, you know, brother awakening and all this is and Keo showing up. It's just weird, isn't it? Especially, you know, with the cult, you know, seeing the cult and stuff like that. It's just, it's too much of a coincidence, isn't it? I would love it if one of the, do if the doctor or one of the doctors or the nurses was part of Keo's cult. I would fucking love it. And also Keo was in the room. So it's like, just something sus about all this. Human experiment A, dude. Oh God, I love it. If he were to attack Kakaru, would I be able to protect him? This facial expression is everything. And then look at Kakaru. Look at him. Look at that worried expression on his face. It's so innocent. I'm telling you, Kyo, Kyo up to something. He is. He is with this shit. He wanted to see. He was doing a test to see what was going down, to see if he still had an effect on Aruma. God, I really hope I'm right in that, that Kyo um, has some of his cult up in there. Because I want this manga to go go for it in terms of fucked upness. I do. I know it's really fucked up of me to say it, but I do. I want it to go there. I do. Do you want me to tell you that everything's okay? Huh? Holy shit, did he? He spoke! Oh my god. Kakiru, did you just speak? You have such a sad face. Big brother, are you okay? Big brother, are you okay? He spoke. Look at this face. Okay, I'm going to say this because I've been bitching about backgrounds. 
But this is where it works. A blank white background works here because it's the innocence of it all. But look at this face. It really makes the, fit, the blank white background just makes that face pop. Brings out the innocence in the eyes. I love it. Cock oh, and we got that light gradation in the background. Kakiru, thank goodness. Oh, why are you crying? I'm fine. It's not because I'm sad. Not sad at all. Oh, that's great. Look at that gradation in the background. Oh, that's great. Uh, that car, it's just like ours. Oh, no. PTSD. We used to. It's just like ours. Mom and Dad. 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 Where are they? Where are they? Again, why this white background worked? Because look at that trauma. Look at that background for this. Look at the eyes. It went from these innocent eyes dull eyes to to like the traumatic ah this is what I wanted in Jojo this is what I wanted if you watch my Jojo live reaction I was fucking pissed because it didn't go all the it didn't go there because it's fucking Jojo if you're draw if you're doing a Jojo manga you can do whatever the fuck you want with it and it was like it was it was holding back. The manga was holding back. Here, it's giving it to me. I'm getting what I want from this manga is giving it what it needs to give and more. The facial expression for Kakiru is perfection. It is. You got the eyes popping out. You got the extremes from that innocence to the the fear, the trauma. The background is going for it too, and I love it so much. And then look at and then the close up. Look at that close up. You have the the eyes get even bigger. And the extreme white. Look at the uh, look at the irises. Look at the pupils. Look how small they are. Because remember when we saw the innocence. Look on his face. The, the eyes. The irises were so big and doll like. And then look at them. Now, look at the fear. Yes. It's just perfection. Kakiru, it's okay. And then look at it go back to the innocence. Look at the background just going back to the white. Everything will be fine. I will definitely kill Shigoku for Kakiru. Oh, and then look at that anger. Yes. Oh, and he's just going through the motions. <gasps> the cold! I fucking knew it! The cold! Kyo's researchers are close, but he ha um, has a new experiment already begun. I fucking knew the cult was there. The cult has begun, has started the, to observe. But, oh my god. Hold on, I want to go back up for a second here and look at this doctor. Where are you, doctor face? Where's that motherfucker's face? No. He's not. No. I thought it was for a minute. But they're here. The cult is here. But I just still have this feeling that the cult is... Because they had to have insider information, right? Because remember, these four are the key researchers. Someone had to wake Kakaru up. Someone had to give Kyo the information that Kakaru was waking up. And Kyo obviously called them, let's be real. Keo had to be, and the researchers obviously came in that car. But I love this background. I love that dress that she's wearing, though. Minus the ruffles. I, I'm a sucker for a bow sleeve. And I love the devil horns. The facial expressions are everything. Yeah, kitties. I know you want to go to bed. But this chapter 
is great for this next arc. Just when we thought we were going to be in the final arc. I don't think we're going to be in this final arc. No. Nah. Because we got four more to deal with. And we got Kakaru in the mix. Yeah, kitties. Right, kitty? This is great. What do you guys think is going to go down? Do you think that um, Aruma is going to kill these mofos in one full swoop? Nah, I don't think so. Nah. He can't. You gotta wonder if Grandpa is gonna... W I think Grandpa's gonna be the one to wise up. Because right now, Aruma is very emotionally vulnerable. So he not paying, he's not paying as much attention to his surroundings as he should. So maybe Grandpa has realized something going on. And he's gonna fill, um, fill Aruma in. Maybe. Either that or a rumor has, maybe he has noticed that someone's watching him in Kakiru. Maybe. But I'm really curious what you guys thought of this chapter. The art in this chapter was giving me everything that I wanted and more. It's, it's what, again, what JoJo's, um, Bizarre Adventure, the, the, uh, the side story, the, um, Crazy Diamond, um, Demonic Heartbreak needs so bad. It does. And, yeah, Crazy Diamond's Demonic Harper. It's what it needs so bad in terms of the art. Like, anytime you're doing a JoJo spinoff, or just JoJo art in general, that's what it needs to give. It does. You need to give me the extreme... You need to give a extreme art like this. You've got to reflect it in the background. You've got to reflect it in the body movement. You've got to do it in the facial expression. And the problem, as I said, the problem is with the JoJo, um, Crazy Diamond's uh, Demonic Heartbreak art is it's so stiff. It's barely, it's doing the bare minimum and it frustrates the fuck out of me, especially when, you know what we get with JoJo art, it, it's, it's everything. And when, and especially when we see, when I see Jujutsu Naroken in art, and I see, uh, especially with this chapter, what it gave me with the extreme expressions with, um, uh, with Kakiru's facial expressions and his body, and the backgrounds to really emphasize it, it just really irritates me. It does, because I know, and that makes me want to one shot. It does. It really, 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 really. Um, it really makes me want to see a, um, a, a Jojo once one shot from Shiryu. I would love to see it. I'd love to see Shiryu do a Jojo one shot. It would be very interesting. Cause I think, I think Shiryu sensei could really take it all the way. I hope we, maybe when the Jojo, uh, magazine comes out this year, we might get one. Shiryu Sensei, please fucking do a JoJo one shot. I am begging you. I want to see it. I want to see what you do with JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. I need that in my life. I am begging you. Anyways, very curious what you guys um, thought of this chapter. What direction do you want to see um, this manga go in? Especially with the researchers. Do you? And speaking of, as I as I asked last week, do you guys think that um, that the cultist, Kyo's cultist, he's got some cultists up in there and that hit the researchers off because he, he's got to, he got to. And what do you guys think? Everything's got to be set up. Kyo is one of those, one of those, um, trolls. He, one of those trolls that has everything going according to plan. He's very meticulous. So he's got to have everything set up. And that's why I feel like Keo was the one that let Anna out. I still stand by that, that I feel like Keo was the one that let Anna out. I do. Because he hasn't thought shit about Anna either. So it, that's why I'm like thinking, it's got to be, Keo got to be behind everything. But also, what do you guys think about Grandpa probably figuring shit out as well and letting um, Aruma know what's going down? Because 
Aruma, and do you guys think Aruma knows that someone watching him as well? I'm very curious if you if you guys think that Aruma's picked up uh, on the presence, because I don't think he did. I think Grandpa might have, and he's going to tell him what's going down. But also, do you guys think he gonna we're going to have the same process where you're going to be taking them one by, out one by one, or do you think you're going to take them out in all one swoop? The other thing that we have to think about as well is after, and I think I mentioned it last week as well, is after Keo is gone, or I think even the past couple of weeks, is after Keo was gone, even after these researchers are gone, we still have cultists left. What's going to happen with these cultists here? Are they still going to be doing the work that... Kyo set out to do. That's the other thing. What's going to happen? Does this mean that um, we're gonna have to have we're gonna have to kill them all? That's what it really feels like to me. Is we're gonna have to kill all these motherfuckers. We are, and I feel like with them, how I picture it is that they're gonna have the meeting. And Aruma just going to kill them all. I think it's going to be all three of them, actually. It'll be Kakaru, Aruma, and Grandpa. And they will light that fucking building on fire. They will blow that sucker up. I kind of want to see that. I think that will be the final one of the final pieces. Even if it's, bef if it's before Kyo dies, I'll be down with that. If it's after Kyo dies, I'll be fine too, actually. But I kind of want to see it. I, I think that would be the best way to, like, get close to ending this manga is have that fucking hurrah. But the other thing that we could be getting, and, and I just thought about this, is remember in Boku, if for Boku no Hero Academia readers, you know what I'm going to talk about, is, you know, with the Liberation Army, because remember, they're, they're a cult as well, where we had the Liberation Army take on the League of Villains. I feel like we might have something like that too. We could have that where, um, where Keo, because Keo conducting this experiment, remember, Keo can unleash the cultists against Aruma as part of his experiment, and see how Aruma deals with it, like in a battle royale. <gasps> Ooh, I kind of would like to see that too. And it would be Aruma, maybe Grandpa as well. No, Kakiru wouldn't be part of this. No way Kakiru would be part of this. Unless you, like, have Kakiru... Nah, Kakiru couldn't be a part of this. Nah, he's too weak for this shit. Grandpa would definitely be a part of this shit. Would we have any other allies up in here, though? That's the question. I can't wait to see if we will. It'll be very interesting. Maybe we'll have something similar similar to what, wait, would we have something, I'm trying to think if we would have something similar to like, um, no, no way. Cause I'm, I was thinking maybe for a second, maybe we'd find, um, allies like, uh, that, um, people that can't stand Kia or something, but I'm very curious what you guys think. How do you guys think shit's going to go down? Because especially in the context of an experiment. Because I think Keo is a sick fuck. I could see Keo being like... Uh, and the other character I could kind of picture Keo being. Because okay, vigilantes. I'm thinking of vigilante. Boku no Hero Academia Illegals. Keo could be like that all for one. In, um, in Knuckle Duster's flashback. And this being like the uh, underground fight. I, but the, like, and this is when it turned ugly up in there. I could see that too. So like a combination of that meets the, um, liberation army situation. That's what I can kind of picture going down in terms of the cultists. I'm very curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, you want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more Chichika no Rogan and content, there's a few ways you could do that. You could donate to my cash app, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.